Hello everyone, today we are going to see one amazing thing that every developer need in their application. So we developer provide best service to the users and we want the money for that best service. To collect money from the users, we need some gateways. So today we are going to integrate Rosarpay payment gateway to take the money from the users. Now if you like our content and if you feel the value in our content then it is free to subscribe to our channel and be the part of our family. This tutorial is divided in the three parts. First we will see why we use Rosarpay. Second we will see how to integrate Rosarpay payment gateway in Android step by step. So stick to the end and take your notes. Third we will see the output with the proper explanation. So watch the tutorial till end and if you feel the valuable content then make sure to subscribe our channel. So let's begin. Nowadays there are many payment gateways are available in the market. So let's see why we use Rosarpay. First Rosarpay payment gateway is easy to integrate. Now you guys think that we haven't seen or we haven't implemented the Rosarpay payment gateway. Then trust me guys after this tutorial you will also tell that Rosarpay payment gateway is very easy to integrate and if you really feel it comment below and let me know. Second Rosarpay supports all kind of payments like credit card, debit card, UPI, mobile wallets and many more. Third and most important decision making is a crucial aspect of any business and data play a huge role in this process. Rosarpay provides a dashboard from which we can analyze our data and we can see the details. Fourth, Rosarpay supports 100 plus currencies. So we can think Rosarpay have a huge platform. So these are the key points that we have to integrate Rosarpay payment gateway in our application. If I have missed any points, comment below. And if you want to learn any other payment gateway in detail, then comment below or DM us on Instagram. Now it's time to see the second step. Let's move to our Android Studio and learn how to integrate the payment gateway. Before moving to our Android Studio, if you like the tutorial, then make sure to subscribe our channel. So open any browser and search for Rosarpay payment gateway and you can find the first link of this website. Now here first we have to register our account. So if you are new then click on this sign up button. You can sign up with your Gmail account. I have already signed up. So I will log in to this Rosarpay dashboard. Now after we will log in we can see the dashboard of Rosarpay. Now if you have created new account then also you will see this dashboard. Now first we get the API key from this dashboard. So click on this setting button and here you can see your all the options and go to the api key tab here i have already created one api key you can generate your api key by clicking generate api key button which is shown here when you have not created this key i have already created so it will show me my api key now when your app goes live make sure to change to the live mode and put the live API key of your dashboard. This is the test API key which will not take any kind of payment from the user. So make sure to put the live API key when your app goes live. For the testing purpose we have to use this API key. Now let's move to our Android Studio and integrate the Rosarpay API. In this tutorial we are going to see Rosarpay payment gateway in Java language. If you want to learn Rosarpay payment gateway in Kotlin language then watch this video. Link is given in the description box. So here I have created one blank project. So first we have to implement Rosarpay dependency. So simply add this dependency and click on this sync now button. You can find this dependency and all these steps link is given in the description box. So here I have created one design. In this design I have taken one text view which shows the payment gateway demo. Below this I have taken edit text. We will use this edit text to enter the amount. Below this I have taken one button. When user click on this button we have to open 
the Roser Pay Gateway and make the payment. Below this, I have taken one another text view to show the payment status. Now, in this main activity, I have already created the object of these elements. Now, let's see how to integrate Roser Pay Payment Gateway. So, first, here we have to load the Roser Pay. So, write checkout dot preload and in this bracket we have to pass the context so in our case the context is main activity dot this so here we will create one method to make the payment so write public void start payment and here we will pass the amount as argument so write int amount now we have to create the object of Roser pay. So write checkout space checkout equal to new checkout. So here we have created the object named as checkout. Now we have to initialize our key which we have taken from the Roser pay website. So write checkout dot set key id and here we have to pass the Roser pay test id. When your app goes live you have to change this id and set the live id. As of now we will use the test id. Now we will write the code in try class block because in this block we are passing the json object so it is a chance that we get the exception. So it is a best practice to write the code in try catch block. So when we want to open the roser pay activity first we have to pass some objects. So we will create one variable for our json object so write json object equal to new json object now we will put some values to our json object so write json object dot put and here we will pass the parameter name as name and here we have to write the title of our roser pay payment gateway so as of now i am giving the title as roser pay demo you can set as per your requirement. Second, we will set the description so user can understand it. Now again, you can set the description as per your requirement. Here, we will set the description as if you like this tutorial, buy me a coffee. Now, below this, we can also set the image to our payment gateway. For that, we have to put the parameter name as image and after that we have to pass the image URL but as of now we are not passing the image now below this we can also set our theme color so we have to write theme dot color and we will pass the theme color here you can pass the theme color as per your app color schema now we have to tell the roser pay that in which currency we want the money so in this tutorial i will set the currency as inr because i want the money in indian currency you can set as per your requirement now below this we have to put the amount so we will pass the parameter name as amount and here we have to pass the amount which we will get from this argument so we will set the amount and we will also multiply this amount with 100 because roser pay accept the amount in subunit so we have to multiply this amount with 100 i hope you have understand this now we have to set some other objects for that we will create another json object name as retry object in this object we will set two values so write retry object dot put and here we will set enable as a true and we will also set max count as 4 and at the end we will put this retry object to our main json object so write the parameter name as retry and here we have to pass this retry object so we have done with all the parameters now we have to open the roser pay payment gateway so write checkout dot open here we have to pass the context first after that we have to pass our json object so we have done with the first part now if exception generate we will print the toast message as something went wrong so 
we have done with this method. Now we have to call this method. So when user clicks on this pay now button, we have to call this method. So in this click event, we will call this method and here we have to pass the value. So we get the value from this edit amount element. So write edit amount dot text dot get text dot to string and we have to also pass this amount in integer. So we will convert this amount to integer. For that we have to write integer dot parseint and in this bracket we have to pass the string object. So we have done with this method. Now when user now when user success this payment we have to get the success message or we get the failure message so we have to handle both the event for that we have to implement one interface so write payment result listener now this payment result listener contains two methods on payment success or on payment failure now if payment got success we will print the payment id to our payment status so write payment status dot set text and here we will pass our string now if we got the error we will also set the error message to our payment status with with the error string so we have done with our code now let's run the code and see the output we can see our app is running successfully now here we have to enter the amount for example we are entering 500 now let's click on this pay now button so we can see our roser pay dashboard is open and we can see our title is set as roser pay demo and we can see our description is also set now here we have to specify the mobile number and email and we have to click on this proceed button so let's enter the mobile number and the email as of now, I will skip these steps and let's move to the next step. You have to enter the correct mobile number because RoserPay will send the OTP to this mobile number. Now RoserPay supports this kind of payment method. For the demo, we will use the card payment. Here we have to specify the card number. Now this card number is dummy. You can find this card number from the RoserPay website or you can also find this card number from our blog. You can find the link in the description box. Now here we have to specify any month and the year. Now here we have to specify the card holder name. Now let's click on this pay now button. So we can see we get the OTP and let's paste the OTP here in click on this pay now button now we have run the demo api so roser will give this interface interface to get the response in success or in the failure in the live mode we will redirect to the success if the payment is success else we will redirect to failure now as of now we will see the success message so here we will see our payment is done and here we will see the payment id now we can also find this thing in our RoserPay dashboard. Let's refresh this dashboard and here we will see all the transactions and the payments. Here we have done the transaction of 500 rupees and this is the payment ID which we have get in this app. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you feel the value then make sure to subscribe our channel. You can find the code and detailed step link in given in the description box. Stay happy and unlock the knowledge with us. Thank you.